Hi everyone. Hi, hi, hi. I am coming on live today with my darling grand dog over here. <laughs> yeah, Luna, say hi to everybody. Hello, hello everyone. How are you? This is Dr. Yebo coming live. I'm going to type the topic today. How, hi everyone. Welcome to my live. How my YouTube analytics how my YouTube analytics explains the mindset of women. Okay. It's, this is going to be a very interesting live guys. And I want you guys to participate and tell me your thoughts. So you should send it to, okay. So let me pin this Luna. Can you sit still? <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see my darling grand dog here, Luna. I'm sitting very comfortably on my sofa today. I really wanted to be comfortable today while discussing this live. It's going to be a very interesting one. Everybody, welcome to my live. If we've never met, my name is Dr. Iyabo. I'm a business and lifestyle coach for women. I'm also a board certified pediatrician and a motivational speaker, I'm a blogger, I'm an author, my book Permanent Happiness is on Amazon. So I hope you guys can hear me. Let's start with that. Can you guys hear me and can you see me okay? Please give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and if you can see me just fine. And I want you guys to send this live to your friends and I hope you know how to send it. You can you can go ahead and just, um, oh, you can hear me good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yes, my lipstick, it's a, it's a purple lip, lipstick. I was going to wear an orange lipstick before to match my dress. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to be too matchy-matchy. I'm just going to wear a different lipstick. So, yeah, you can hear me very good. So, welcome, everybody. If everybody can please tell us, hi, very precious. Can everybody please tell us where they are joining in from? Because today is Saturday, I want us to kind of meet each other and see where everybody's talking from. I'm talking from Atlanta, Georgia, okay? I'm speaking from Atlanta, Georgia. So can everybody just type in the country they're speaking from? And if you're in the States, okay, Julie Bright is from Lagos, Nigeria. If you're in the States, please tell us what state you're speaking from. So if you're Essex, UK, oh, very nice. So two from Nigeria, Essex, UK, Washington, DC, Ghana, I love it. Lagos, Nigeria, I just love how the internet makes it, makes it such a much smaller place. I love, love, love this. And today, oh, oh yes, yeah, so I'm very precious from Accra, Ghana, somebody else from Ghana, somebody from New Jersey, okay. So we have lots of Lagos, we have lots of Ghana, we have New Jersey, Washington, D.C. I haven't seen, <coughs> seen any <coughs> Australia today. And guys, as much as I love dogs, I'm allergic to dogs, so I may start coughing a little bit more today because I have my dog right here. Luna, my grand dog. Luna, come and say hi to people, you're shy. <coughs> She's right here beside me and she's shedding a lot because I think when the seasons change, change, but anyway, I know I'm allergic to dogs and I still have dogs around me because I love dogs. But anyway, nice to meet everybody. If you haven't typed where you're speaking from, please let us know where you're speaking from. Okay. I want to know what country or what state everybody's from because it's always nice to meet each other. And if you have any questions at all, please make sure you type your questions. So you guys can see my topic of today, right? How my YouTube analytics explains the mindset of women. Okay. <coughs> I have my cough drop in my mouth and Luna is here staring at me. I don't know if you guys can see her. Let me turn this Luna. Hi, say hi to my friends. Look, you see my friends up there? Look, look, over there. Luna is my shadow. 
when she's visiting because we have her most weekends my daughter drops her off when she's visiting she shadows me everywhere in the house she doesn't she, she she she's like my shadow if i look back she's there if i sit down she's there she's right here laying on my lap and i just love her luna luna say hi ah say hi say hi to the girls you are a girl too say look look you see all the girls <laughs> anyway okay so enough people have joined now <laughs> luna yeah for me dear luna is here so i know she luna is so adorable she just she's sitting on my lap and she just she's wonderful dogs are really man's best friend so and i'm allergic to dogs every time i do my allergy test my allergy to dogs and cats is like through the roof but i love dogs so much that i would rather take my zertec and use my flonies and still be able to have dogs but anyway everybody please tell us where you're joining in from okay so now <laughs> uh julie bright says i love your charisma oh thank you thank you so much you know what i'm just myself i just you know the, the way thank you the way i'm charismatic is just myself the easiest thing to be is just to be yourself but i've been looking at my youtube analytics you guys know that my youtube channel has been monetized and you guys know that I post most things about, well, I'm the money to honey coach. So I post videos about how to make money, how to be financially free. But I also post a lot of videos about relationships and dating and how to date better and all that. And then I also post videos about, you know, taking care of ourselves, how to, how to take care of your skin. I tell people the foods I eat so that I can have good skin. All of all, all, all of that, right? But my YouTube analytics, and I didn't, I'm not technical enough to be able to show you. I was looking for a way I could show you my YouTube analytics while I'm on this. Some people have all this technical stuff. I'm not there yet. But my YouTube analytics shows exactly the problem we women have. And I always want to say we, because I'm a woman too. I'm not pointing fingers at anyone i learn every day i grow every day you know i'm not perfect only god is perfect but my youtube analytics i hope you guys are listening this is really important my youtube analytics shows the main problem that is wrong with the mindset and the mentality of us women you know what it is first of all my my analytics shows that most of the women who watch my videos are between the ages of 25 to 44 and then the next group after that is 44 to 54 but my two highest groups are 25 to 34 and then 34 to 44 then from 44 to 54 is a little lower so basically the highest group of people who watch my youtube videos are between 25 to 44 okay then the two highest countries that watch my youtube videos are nigeria and usa then followed closely by ghana so thank you my ghanaian people you guys know i have some ghanaian um dna in me that's why you love me so much because my mom was born and raised in ghana and funny enough she was born and raised in ghana and she ended up passing away in ghana she went on a trip to ghana and she passed away there you see how life is just so amazing i so you know i mean it's not amazing that she passed away but it's just funny that she passed away in a country where she was born and then followed closely after that is london uk then australia is like a tiny bit tiny tiny bit so did you hear that so the highest group of people who watch my, my videos are mostly women 99 percent women one percent men there's actually one percent of men who watch my videos and then um 25 ages 25 to 44 is the highest then closely behind is 45 to 54 and then the countries that watch me most are nigeria and usa then ghana is number three then london uk is number four then no not australia i'm sorry i misspoke canada then canada is the fifth so usa nigeria ghana london uk then canada those are the highest and then my videos that have the most views this is the part i'm like 
I need to talk to women about this mentality change. This is why a lot of us women have our priorities wrong. And I don't mind because this lets me know the kind of videos I should put out. But it also shows, gives me a lesson. And it gives all of you a lesson. A lesson to the women who are on here live with me. And if you're watching this replay, I'm actually going to post this video, part of it on YouTube as well because it's a lesson for us okay so listen closely my videos that have the most views the most watch time i only have not only well i thank god i have i'm about to have 2500 subscribers on my youtube even though i just really started acting um taking my youtube seriously last september october i have almost 2500 subscribers and i'm already monetized as you guys know but my videos okay my videos drum roll my videos that have the most views that have views in the thousands and have the most watch time guess what which videos can you guys guess actually before i say it i like the guessing game can you guys guess which of my videos have the most views i've told you that i publish three kinds of videos number one videos on how to make money how to be financially free Number two, videos on how to be able to attract your honey, the things to do when you're dating, you know, all of that. And then the third thing is videos on how you can look good, take care of your skin, the right foods to eat. Okay, so Divalicious is right. Divalicious Maria is very correct. My videos, yes. Keandra, Keandra is also correct. Julie Bright, you're actually not correct. How, yes, yeah, the, uh, yes, how to attract your honey, the, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys, are you, are you, you're warming up to what I'm trying to say, right? The videos that have the most views are the ones on how to attract your honey. I told my, my husband and I were looking at those analytics and we both had a good laugh. So which one do you think is the second, the second set of videos oh luna is so cute she's falling asleep on my lap oh my goodness my baby girl she's falling asleep um she loves it when i'm talking and she just falls asleep um so which one do you think was second in line which one was second in line i've told you guys the three videos i do Videos on how to make your money, videos on how to attract your honey. Then number three is all those videos about self-care, looking good, putting your, you know, your makeup, how to, yeah. Yes, yeah, so Divalicious, you were wrong this time. Very Precious is correct. And Selena Jones is correct, yes. So now you guys, since I've told you, Yes, my videos, yes. So my videos about attract, uh, making money actually have really low views. Really low views. In fact, let me tell you something funny. The video that I released a few days ago talking about the two tips on how to have a healthy and strong marriage, very low views. Very low views. You know why? People are more focused. The people, first of all, most of the women who follow me are single and divorced. That's number one. But there are many married women who follow me. But it just shows that women are more focused on finding this man, finding this man, finding this man, than if I'm married, how do I make my marriage strong? Isn't that, a, isn't that an irony? You know, isn't that an irony? So you guys... Tell me what is wrong about this. Yes, thank you. Inspired by Franca says, wow, that is sad. I need more comments here because the, the analytics of my YouTube really shows the mindset and mentality of women. And this is our main problem. This is our problem because it shows that as women... We're so focused about finding this man, finding this man, not being single, attracting a good man, attracting a good man. Thank you, Keandra. Key to your clarity. We need to change the order of the operations. Thank you. And it just shows, I'm so glad that anal the analytics are there. Honestly, out of every video I've done before, 
this is probably the most important one this is why i'm going to have it on my igtv i'm also going to post parts of this on my youtube because women you have to change your mentality and your mindset you have to change your mentality i'm not saying you should stop watching my videos it's good for me that i know what women like but my life is not just about making money and not helping women these analytics that make me happy because they're videos that are making me money on youtube but it also makes me very sad it also makes me very very sad that women are so focused <coughs> women are so focused about finding this guy finding this guy finding this guy and then when they find the guy they're still unhappy <laughs> you know i don't understand they're still unhappy even after they find the guy because you know what they didn't spend time to work on themselves you know women if you're so focused about just i, I yes and i see you guys um comments i think loneliness has been at an all-time high maybe people just don't want to be alone that is true nobody wants to be alone trust me i was divorced for 10 years i was divorced for 10 years however the difference with me during those 10 years was i actually used those 10 years to develop myself more than i had ever done in my life during those 10 years that is when i was able to focus on my practice i've told you these things over and over i don't want to keep repeating myself that is when i was able to focus on my practice build it up to seven figures that's when i started writing books that's when i started my blog that's when i spoke at the united nations three times i knew that i was a high quality woman and a woman that men would love to be with i just hadn't i hadn't i just hadn't found or attracted the, the man at that time i kept praying to god for a good man but after i prayed to god i would get up and you know make my own life good and live in my purpose and make money for myself i was traveling you guys know i tried those 10 years i traveled more than i had ever traveled i invested so much of my money on travel on traveling and experiences yeah i understand loneliness is real guys but we still have to change our priorities let me tell you something women if you are not happy on your own listen to me carefully if you are not happy on your own after you get married to this guy you're waiting for are you listening are you all ears <laughs> as our parents would say i'm being big auntie now big mama as you guys call me if you are not happy on your own after you find this guy you've been waiting for forever and ever you're still not going to be happy with him you're still not going to be happy with him because happiness is a, is an inside job a lot of you women you're looking for men for the wrong reasons so after you don't work on yourselves you go and partner with the man after you meet this guy you don't ha you're not making your own money you don't have anything going for yourself you don't have a purpose you're not living your god-given assignment all you're looking for is i want to look good i want to look good let me attract this guy then after you get married and you start having kids then you realize marriage is not what you thought it was that your husband actually is not responsible for your happiness <laughs> that you are responsible for your happiness and then you guys start getting mad at your husbands you start nagging you become this wife that is high maintenance you become this wife that complains all the time then the husband can make you happy then he checks out emotionally so you you we have the priority wrong no matter how much you guys say women are lonely women are lonely if you don't enjoy your own company if you can't be entertaining to yourself and if you don't have things going on for yourself i've told you during my 10 years i was busy I mean, yes, there was many times that I missed being with a man. I don't want to, do, there were many, I'm telling you, there were many times I cried myself to sleep because I missed being, having a man around. Yes. However, I would wake up in the morning with a renewed sense of energy and I'm doing what I was doing again. I'm having my book signings. I'm doing my book launch. I'm waiting for my next speaking engagement at the UN. My practice is growing. I'm managing my practice. I'm traveling. 
I'm exercising. So, you know, but a lot of you women are too hyper-focused on finding a man. Uh -huh. So who say yes? And Fabi says, I have been happy on my own, but I'm tired of being single. Self-love is key. That is my motto. Maybe people have focused on themselves, but you would want to share everything with someone. I understand. I understand. But the point, I'm still warming up here. The point I'm coming to here is, you guys have the priorities wrong. Those three things that I do videos on are very, very important. How to make money and how to be financially free and how to live in your purpose. How to take care of yourself and look good and age backwards and look 35 or 50 and have glowing skin and eat the right foods. I'm 50 years old. I don't feel like I'm 50. I actually feel better now that I did in my 30s. Somebody even told me to do a video on how I keep my teeth looking white <laughs> that's you know so and then the last thing is i teach women how to be a high quality woman who will attract her high quality honey those are three things that i know a lot of women want however the priorities are wrong the way the videos should be is most of the videos that are being watched on my page should be on my youtube channel should be videos about how to be financially free and live in your purpose and make money and build wealth and make money in 2021 and have income streams those are the videos that should have thousands of views and the most watch time okay then second should be how to take care of yourself right yeah second should be the the self-care and then the vanity stuff, the how, which foods to eat, to look young, which foods, all of that. The vanity stuff is number two. In fact, I can argue that the vanity stuff and self-care is even number one. Because if you are not caring for yourself and if you don't look healthy and feel healthy and young, you can't do everything else. So those two should actually be vying for, for, for position one. How to live in your purpose how to make money and be financially free and self-care and how to be self-confident and look good and be healthy. Those should be competing for number one. Then number two, way down, should be the attracting your honey. But women, you guys have your priorities wrong. And this is why this analytics in my YouTube shows exactly the reason why so many women are depressed so many women have anxiety so many women live with abuse and they can't get out so many women have low self-esteem self-confidence my analytics on youtube explains it all it is because we do not value ourselves first over being with a man and over all this vanity even my dms even in my DMs, there are more women who inquire about, co about my coaching as a dating coach and as a relationship coach than inquire about my coaching for money or my masterclass on how to set up an online business or my financially free online course. There's a way bigger number of women who send me DMs asking for me, asking me how much my dating coaching costs. And then followed by that is all the women asking about my weaves. Where can I get your weave? How many bags did you use? What color is your lipstick? Where did you get your earrings from? Can you please do a video on how to look young? Can you please do a video on how to make her teeth look white? There's hardly anybody that asks me on videos on how to build wealth or be financially free or how to... I think there was one lady who asked me about how to find your purpose. I don't want to lie. There was actually the purpose video. I did that because of one lady. So, but it's a much lower number. People are obsessed with finding their man and they're obsessed with their looks. Not people, women, because my work is with women. They are much less concerned about how they want to make money and how they want to be financially independent. And you know why? Because they're hoping that this man that they're going to meet is going to be the one taking care of their money.
is going to be the one providing money for them. So women, this is a big issue. It is a big problem and it just shows that women all over the world, I've told you the age is 25 to 44, United States, Nigeria, Ghana, London, UK, Canada. It shows that all of us women in all corners of the world, we get our priorities wrong. We get our priorities wrong. And this is why there's so many disordered relationships. This is why divorce is so high. This is why abuse is so high. This is why there's so much cheating in relationships. This is why so many women are sad and distraught. Because they're not searching for the first most important thing. The first most important reason why you're on this earth is to live in your purpose. <laughs> is to live in your purpose. Is to find what makes you tick and how to use that to help other people. And during that process also make money okay and also make money so i really wanted to do we truly do but we will work on it yes julie says if you have the right person next to you it can make a difference there are a lot of women who are doing well and value themselves but just had enough of being on their own that is also true that is true absolutely that is true and that was me that was me during my 10 years of divorce like i've told you i've been open there were many times that i was really lonely yes there were many times that i was lonely that i really longed for a good guy beside me but i wasn't going to settle i really really wanted a good guy beside me but 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 the difference with me is that i did have times that i missed the guy but i also used that time to build my wealth to grow my practice to start being very creative, to build other income streams. A lot of women don't do that. I know that you guys are saying some women are already doing well, but that's a very small percentage. A lot of women are not doing well financially. A lot of women are not financially free. Don't get this wrong. A lot of women are not financially independent. A lot of women work for other people they're in debt they have massive credit card debt a lot of women don't have retirement funds a lot of women don't have any assets so i know you guys are saying yeah there's some women who are doing well they just need a man but that's actually a very small percentage of women the higher percentage of women don't have all what i'm saying they don't have a retirement fund they don't have any savings they're living um, from paycheck to paycheck. They have massive debt, but all they're focused on is they're single, they're single, they're single. They're looking for this guy to come and save them. They're looking for this guy to, you know, put them in a big house and buy them this car and take them on this vacation. So, yes, that's what they're looking. So that's why my videos about relationships are much more popular rather than women watching more videos on how to have their own amazing life. The only way you're going to have to meet an amazing guy is if you make your life amazing. An amazing guy doesn't mean a guy who's going to be your bank. Okay? So a lot of women will have to change their mindset because when women hear amazing guy, you're hearing, oh, tall, dark, and handsome, and has lots of money. That's what most women think about amazing. Okay? No. An amazing guy is a high quality guy who will love and adore you, make sure you're safe, make you happy, and also be an equal partner to you. So amazing guy doesn't mean he's your bank, okay? Amazing guy doesn't mean that you don't ever want to have to work an hour in your life anymore and he's just going to provide you with money. That's not what that means. So when you're single, you better start making your own money living your own purpose-driven life and making your life amazing and changing other people's lives. It is during that. If you hear the stories of most women who've met their, their good husbands, they'll tell you that they met them when they were living in their purpose. If you're just at home, sulking, 
not taking care of yourself, all you're thinking of is meeting this man, it's not going to happen. Most women who've met a good man, they'll tell you, I was living in my purpose, I was living the life of my dreams, and this man just somehow, just I just met him. That's usually how it happens. So I hope that this live has really struck something within you women, within us women, because again, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say that a very, very small percentage, especially among married women. Yeah, exactly. Inspired by Franca. Very, very, it's a very small percentage of women that are financially free. Very, very small. Single, married, divorced. And I'm on a mission to change that. It's because women focus on the wrong things. We prioritize things in the wrong, you know, we're comp from the time we're 16, we're hyper-focused on marriage, 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 meet this man, meet this man, meet this man. Rather than thinking of how we can build our wealth, you, all we're focused on is meet this man, meet this man, how am I going to get a job? How am I going to get a job? There's not many women at 16 to 25 who are thinking, how am I going to build wealth? How am I going to invent something? How am I going to start businesses and have several income streams? I don't want to work for somebody. I don't want to live somebody else's dream. I want to have my own empire. I want to build my own businesses and I want to be the employer. How many women think that? Not many. You know, rather we're focused on our wedding day, our wedding dress, our this and that, and we're looking for this man who's going to supply the house and the car and the amazing vacations and everything. We need to start resetting our goals, reprioritizing our goals, women. We still need men in our lives. I'm not saying we don't need men, but we need men for a different reason than what culture and society has told us, Okay. We need men to be our equal partners, to grow with. We need men to feel safe, to feel adored. We don't need them to, we shouldn't be needing men to be our bank accounts, to be, you know, to provide all those things for us. So again, I understand some of you saying women are just lonely, but if you're feeling lonely, and you're feeling so alone and you don't enjoy your own company you guys please listen to this this is really important if you're so lonely and you're feeling so alone that you don't like your own company you actually probably are not ready to date somebody <laughs> you probably are not ready to get married because if you don't truly enjoy yourself and enjoy your own company and if you're truly not happy with your own self you're still not going to be happy even after you get married because your husband, of unfortunately, cannot make you happy. <laughs> I know that sounds counterintuitive or whatever the word is. Nobody can make you happy except you. You have to be happy first. So if you're a woman out there who's watching this video on this live or the replay and you're just sad and feeling empty because you don't have a man in your life, you're actually not ready to start dating. You're not ready to get married. You know why? Because after you get married, your husband is still not going to be able to make you happy because you are responsible for your own happiness. So, you know, so guys, I'm sorry. I'm 50 years old. I've lived this life and I've, li I've experienced a lot and I know quite a lot. My YouTube analytics shows exactly what the problem is with the mindset and the mentality of most women. I'm not saying all women. Most women, we have our priorities wrong. We want to attract our honey. We're looking, 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 looking for this man. Then number two, we're focused on our looks and all the vanity stuff. Trust me, I love to look good. You guys have seen my feed. I love to look good. But my priority in life has always, number one, being, being financially free, being financially independent, making my own money and not waiting around for a man to be my bank account, right? Being a super confident woman, because that's, what, that's how I was brought up. That's how I lived. That's what I saw my mom doing. So naturally, that's what I would do also. 
She didn't wait around for my dad to be her bank. She actually lived her own purpose and they were super happy together because of that. So I have always had the dream of having my own empire, having my own business. And this is what I've always prioritized as number one in my life. That is why I'm where I am today. Not that I don't need a man. Trust me, I'm the most feminine woman you can think of. I'm the most soft woman inside that you can think of. But I'm also a very hardworking and ambitious woman. It's a very funny mix. But women, my YouTube analytics makes me happy because, yes, I'm getting a lot of views on my relationship videos. But on the other hand, it also makes me sad because I can see that women between the ages of 25 to 44 are focusing on the wrong thing. And this is why there's so many women who feel dejected, depressed, and sad because all that is going on in their brain chemistry is where's this man? Where's this man? Where's this man? Where's this man? And then the second thing is, how am I going to buy that wig, that weave, that lipstick? How am I going to look good? Then their last priority is actually their financial development, their self-development, their wealth building, generational wealth. That's the last thing on their list. We need to change our priorities, guys. I can see a lot of you are quiet today. <laughs> this is probably sinking in because the way that you're going to look young and look your best and feel the most confident and your skin is going to glow and you're going to want to take care of yourselves is, listen to me, by first finding your purpose. When I wasn't living in my purpose in my 30s and I was running around for everybody else, I was aging rapidly. But now, <laughs> Patricia says we're listening. That's why we're quiet. I'm glad you guys are listening. So the way that you're going to look young, that you're going to look refreshed, that you're going to look like you're 35 when you're 50, the way that you're going to be healthy from inside out is by finding your purpose. Okay? It's by finding your purpose. It's by living your life and using that purpose to help other people and making money in the process. And it is during that process that you'll start to be so happy that you will not age a day that people will look at you and say, how does she look 25 when she's 50 years old? And then men will start to chase you all around. <laughs> Guess why? Because you will be a high quality woman. You will be very attractive to women because you won't be a needy woman. Men don't like needy women. Men like women who need them, but they don't like needy women. I hope you guys know the difference. Okay. Let me say it again. Men like women who need them, but they do not like needy women. If you know the difference, then I'm not going to go into the explanation. If you don't know the difference, let me know and I'll explain it to you. But you guys are all mature on this live. I'm sure you know the difference. Okay? So the first thing is to invest in your personal financial development. Invest in what makes you a true human. And the reason what makes you a true human is, why are you on this earth? Are you just filling up space just so that you can meet a man and say you're married? I don't see that anywhere in the Bible. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't see that anywhere in the Bible. God did not tell me that my purpose on this earth is to meet a man and get married. I don't see it anywhere in the Bible. The way the, God in many parts of the Bible, I can't quote the Bible for you, but you guys can dust off your Bible when we're done with this live and read it. God wants us to love our neighbor as ourselves. He wants us to point to other people. He wants us to make his glory known in, on this earth. He wants us to be his servants on this earth, right? He wants us to live by the fruit of the Spirit. So my first purpose in this world is to live out my purpose, my God-given assignment. And that is helping other people live their best lives helping other people that God has assigned me to. And I believe God has assigned me to women 
So I'm living in my purpose because I want to help thousands and millions of women discover their best lives as well. That is my number one purpose. And in that process, I will make money from it because God wants me to make money from it. I will make money because it's from that money that I can even do more work that I can feed my family, that I can help more people, that I can build this school I still want to build, that I can still build this disabled center for kids that I want to build. That is number one. Then once you're living in your purpose, you are not going to age a day. I can assure you that. Once you're living in your purpose and once you find that thing that makes you happy and that you're also pouring into other people's lives, you will want to keep taking care of yourself because you want to wake up energized every day and ready to pour into other people's lives. Okay? That is what happens from that. And then guess what? Once you're glowing and shining and you're this super confident woman, you're this woman who's like this sexy siren for men because you're living your life and you're just still your feminine, powerful self, Men will be chasing you around, okay? Men are not going to be chasing you around if you are needy. <laughs> because if all you do is sit around all day look, watching relationship videos on how you can find a man, attract a man, any man that pops up in front of you, you're going to be desperate, <laughs> you know? So I'm telling you that this is probably the one most important live or video I've ever done honestly and if you guys know any women that need to watch it they need to because this my youtube analytics is showing what the problem is with women out there okay because the thing is if you're so hyper focused on finding a man finding a man finding a man as soon as <laughs> luna is here relaxing on my lap hi luna as soon as that man pops up you're going to be acting desperate to the man you're going to be following him around with calls and texts and asking him why he's not taking you out on dates and asking this, asking that. You're going to be like, you know, even before you get married to him, you're going to be texting him every day, calling him every day and chasing him all around the place because you will be desperate. But if you're this high quality woman who has a life, who has like two or three businesses going on that you're managing you're traveling the world, you're going walking, you're going jogging, you have hobbies, you're writing a blog, you love cycling, you love running marathons, whatever it is, you're living your amazing life. All men will be chasing you around the place. You will attract high quality men. I'm not talking about the men who just want to put you in a mansion and buy you a car. Those are not high quality men. Okay, I'm sorry. A high quality man is not a man who wants to give you like a diamond ring worth a billion dollars. Those men are just buying you with their money and they will do that to other women. So if that's the kind of man you want, then that's your prerogative. I'm talking about a man who will be your partner, who you can live life together with, who you can share life with in a, in a, in a partnership, in a true godly manner. Okay? So... Honestly, I've been talking a lot, but I really wanted, this is why I'm sitting down on my sofa today. You can see there's a pillow behind me. I have my tea. I'm in my most relaxed position today because I wanted to let you guys know how your mindset and your mentality and your prioritization of your life is making you have problems. Okay. It's making you have problems. Because if my YouTube, Dr. Jumoke, I don't know when you came on here, but I'm talking about my YouTube analytics. My YouTube analytics shows what women are focusing on. The most women who watch my videos are between ages 25 to 44, and they are located in the US, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in London, UK, and in Canada. And my videos that have the most views, that have the thousands of views. And you guys can go to my channel and you can't see my analytics, but you can go to my channel and see my, my popular uploads. You'll see them there. 
all the ones that have thousands of views are either the ones about attracting your honey, 12 ways to be resistible to men, 7 ways to catch a man, blah, 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 how to look 35 at 50, how to take care of your skin, the foods I eat to look good. The ones that have less than 500 views are all the ones about making money, about purpose, about being confident, about, <laughs> you know, about being confident, about um, how, to, how to have income streams. Even the video that I released a few days ago, Dr. Jumoke, about the two ways to make your marriage strong and healthy, very low views, which, which, which makes me feel like women are very focused on finding a man, finding a man, finding a man. But after they get married, they don't really care on how to how they should sub, how they should keep their marriages strong and healthy because all they want is just to be married and have this ring. They just want to be like you know conform to society. Oh, I'm no longer single. You know, it's like a taboo to be single. It's this big taboo. So they just want to be married and have a ring. So even the video that I said two ways to have a healthy and strong marriage, the views are very low, and I'm thinking. Oh my goodness, society and culture has basically messed up the mentality of women all over the world. But myself, and I believe women like Dr. Jumoke, because Dr. Jumoke is a, is a, what's he called? Dr. Jumoke is also a business coach. You know, this is what we need to focus. Somebody says it's a micro niche for my videos. And I understand that. I only have 2,500 subscribers. But I know that that is what women focus on the most. Even in my DMs. The DMs I get are inquiries about me being a dating coach. Women always ask, oh, can you, uh, how much do you charge? Uh, can I, can you be my dating coach? Can you be my dating coach? And then the next group of questions I get is, oh, I love your hair. Who did your hair? How can I get it? How many bundles did you use? What kind of weave is it? Oh, what kind of foundation do you wear? What's the color of your, um, what's the color of your lipstick? What's the this, what's the that, you know? So it's just funny to me that women are focused on finding this man and their parents. But if you ask them to pay for coaching, but if you ask them to pay for coaching, they're going to say they don't have any money, right? But they will ask you how much your weave and your hair and your lipstick costs. So it's just, it's, it's, yeah, this, I wanted to do this live because I looked at, I've been watching my analytics for a while, but I just thought, ah, oh, it's because I'm just starting. But I mean, I don't have that many followers. Obviously, I don't have 25,000 subscribers and I don't have 250,000 subscribers. But from my little community, and from the women who watch my videos, that's what they're basically watching. And from the women who send me DMs, there are more women who inquire about my coaching, my dating coaching, than my financial freedom coaching. And there are more women who are asking me about everything about my parents, how they can get my weave, how they, I mean, my weave costs a lot of money, but there are women who are asking about my weave and who are going to hire the person who did my weave to do their hair. But these are, and I'm not saying it's all those women, but these are probably some of the women who say they can't afford my coaching. This is why in, some, in one of the posts that I put today, I put on there that I'm sure two years worth of wigs and weaves will pay for my coaching. But then again, there's nothing wrong with looking good. Like I've said, I love to look good. However, I prioritize my purpose and my financial freedom above looking good. Yes, I can afford to look good now. Yes, because I have invested in myself over the years and I've built a business empire for myself. But that's because I prioritized it in the right order. Yes, bitter truth. Somebody says bitter truth. Yeah, it's the bitter truth. People are more obsessed with their vanity and obsessed with finding a man than obsessed in living their God-given assignments, you know? 
they stop putting the work in you're hitting the nail on the head chai love your channel thank you so much hi luna a good man will find his warm man feel fill the cups when needed and don't take what you don't need yeah so if you guys have any questions please let me know i think very precious asked me a question very precious said what is the difference between being needy and needing a man very simple men want to know that they are needed meaning you will make and this is what is in the video with the two tips on how to have a healthy and strong marriage you guys didn't watch it that's why you're asking because it's talking about marriage and it's not talking about how to attract your honey but a man wants to know that you need him meaning he he serves a purpose in your life right a man wants to know that he can make you happy a man wants to know that he can help enhance your life and make your life better than it was before you married him not with material things but with little things you know a man can he wants to know that if he does the dishes you'll be happy and grateful that he did the dishes if he walks the dog you will be happy and grateful he did that if he gets the groceries you will be happy and grateful he did that if there's something not working in the house and he fixes it you will be happy and grateful that he did that right right so very precious i hope that's making sense on the other hand a needy woman is a woman who nothing can make her happy <laughs> A needy woman is nothing can make her happy. A needy woman in the dating scene is a woman who is desperate for a man, who is chasing, chasing, chasing men around. She's planning the dates. She's wondering why he didn't call at one thirty, even though he said he would call at one thirty. You know, a, a needy woman in the dating field is a woman who, who is desperate for a man, who is like just waiting to be snatched by any man. A married woman who is needy is a woman who doesn't have her own space or her own boundaries. If you're married and you always want your husband with, uh, to be around you with everything you do and you don't have a life of your own going on, that's being needy. Meaning you should have your own life. You should, this is why I don't sign up for stay-home moms. I'm not criticizing any stay-home mom. If you want to be a stay-home mom and it's your personal decision to be a stay-home mom, absolutely be a stay-home mom. I'm just not a believer of being a stay-home mom because a lot of women resent it after some time. But again, I respect you if that's what you want to do. But, you know, if you just don't have anything going on in your life, if you're just sat down every day watching Netflix, or all you do is drive the kids from school and back and you have no other purpose in life and you know you're just there you don't have a purpose you don't have anybody you serve you don't have a job you don't you know that's a needy woman i don't you know you have to have something going on for you in life other than just your husband your husband your husband otherwise you're going to be chasing your husband around if he goes out you're going to be like where are you what are you doing what are you, you know if you have something else, like i'm on this live now doing this live i'm not hyper focused on my husband 24 7 so being a woman who needs a man is a good thing men want to know that they're needed in your life and that they make you happy and that they enhance your life in a better way than before they met you but being needy is like just not having a life of your own and just being you know overly i i don't i don't know if i'm peace, explaining it properly maybe somebody else has a better way of explaining it but being needy is a woman who it's very hard to make her happy because she wants you to be next to her 24 7 and just be there and have nothing else going on but both a man and a woman have to have their own lives going, you know, separate lives. You can't just, you know, it's good to have time for each other. I, trust me, my happiest place is cuddling next to my husband. I love cuddling close to him. But that doesn't mean I want to cuddle close to him 24 hours a day and not have anything else to do. That's being needy. Okay? So I hope I explained it. 
So, um, do you guys have any questions for me? Purpose and financial freedom above beautiful looks. Priority, priority, priority. Trust me, you guys should take care of yourselves. Again, I practice what I preach, right? You guys see that I take care of myself. I show up well. I have my makeup on. I dress well. I look good. I'm not saying you shouldn't prioritize your looks. However, prioritize your purpose first. Prioritize your wealth building first. Prioritize how you're going to change other people's lives first, which is your purpose. Prioritize your God-given assignment first, which is go into this world and live a meaningful life and make other, make other people realize my glory and my grace, okay? God didn't say, go forth into the world, woman, and go and search for a man and make that your priority. Go and search for a man to marry and make that your priority. That's not, you know, that's not the priority, okay? So, um, being needy is like being dependent. Yes, thank you. When you're busy and successful, your aura and confidence change, changes, absolutely. And I am Olga, New York City. When you're busy and successful, your aura and your confidence changes. And that is when you start attracting high quality men. That is when you start attracting high quality men. You won't have to look for the man. They will actually start seeing you and chasing you all over the place. Yes. So yeah, thank you for the information has me thinking how to change my mindset. I just love your videos. Well, I'm glad I'm glad invest in yourself. I'm glad that I was able to put this out there because I didn't make it up. My YouTube analytics told me all this and I thought I'd come out and share it with you. So that's what I wanted to share today. If you guys don't have any questions, I'll log off. Do remember that I have a live masterclass that is taking place on April 10th. I decided to do that masterclass because I know there are many of you out there who, do, who cannot afford my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I want to make sure that I help as many women as I can. My goal this year is to change the lives of thousands of women. If I can make it to millions of women, I will. But my goal, my number one goal for 2021 is to change the lives of thousands of women. So I hope that you women will sign up for my, um, my live masterclass. It's only $250, guys. If you can afford this weave, everybody has been asking about this weave. How much is your weave? How much is it? Who did your weave? So many of you have called uh, Sparkle, the stylist, to ask her that you want to do my hair. This hair costs a lot more than $250. So if you can be inquiring about this hair, you sure have money to sign up for a live masterclass that will change your life. So the price is going up on March 17th. If you haven't signed up for my live masterclass, you're going to be missing out. A few people on this um, live already have signed up. I hope you will join them and sign up and attend this masterclass. It's going to be a powerful one. In those three hours, I'm basically going to equip you with everything you need to start and scale your own online business. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. If you're interested in this masterclass, all you have to do is sign up for my newsletter Click the link in my bio, subscribe to my newsletter, and send me a DM, and I'll send you the link on how to sign up. The way you qualify for the early bird pricing is just that you sign up for my newsletter. That's it. It's a very easy. You just click on it, put in your name and your email, sign up for my newsletter, and then send me a DM with a screenshot and say, Hi, Dr. Yabo, I've subscribed to your newsletter. Can I get the link? to register for your live masterclass in April and I'll send you the link and you will sign up before the price goes up in five days. So it is time to reprioritize your life. Guys, I want to start seeing more of you watching my money and financial freedom and financial development videos on YouTube. I want to see the views on that go up 
rather i mean watch all my videos yes because i want you guys i want you guys to watch all my videos because i'm monetizing my youtube but i also want to help you but you're not watching the most important videos you should be watching you should be watching the financial freedom financial development videos guys okay so this is it i've poured it all out for you it's one thing to listen to my videos it's one thing to watch my videos but it's another thing to take action so don't just be that you just consume the information and you don't change anything in your lives make sure that you take this information and you start um uh, uh, taking action what keeps the attraction and love in a marriage um marriage secret um let me see okay chilling uh oh you asked me a question what keeps the attraction and love in a marriage i think that is on my video the video that i released a few days ago and i said two tips to keep your marriage healthy and strong chilling can please go and watch that video that video hasn't had many views because many women are not as I guess they're not concerned about making their marriages healthy and strong. They just want to meet the man and get the ring and be married. But that video actually explains everything. So the marriage secret, the um, two ways, the video on my YouTube channel that says the two ways to keep your marriage strong and healthy, that will really help you. Chilling Ken, that will help you a lot. So thank you guys. 2J Psychology, thank you so much. God bless you too. Amen, amen to that. God bless you. And, and I am Olga, looking forward to your talk with One Day tomorrow. Yes, it, tomorrow is my tea time with Ye One Day of Lady Boutique. Don't miss it. Set your alarms now. I'll be back on live tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. Don't miss it. It's going to be powerful, just like the one I had with FW Style. So if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to log off now. I love you guys. God bless you. Please reprioritize your lives and please take action. And don't forget to sign up for my live masterclass in April. It's going to be powerful. $250 is a tiny, tiny drop in the ocean of what that will do to your financial lives. Okay? So love you guys. See you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be back live with my guest Yewande of Lady Boutique. Take care, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.